Lady starts to clean the baby as if to encourage it to stand. In the wild, giraffe babies are most vulnerable before they get their footing. 50 to 75% of all calves fall prey to lions, leopards, and hyenas in the first few months of life. The sooner mom can get her baby up and walking, the better its chance for survival. As if responding to her mother's encouragement, the baby struggles to get up. Several attempts will be required before the baby is able to stand. Once standing, Kim is able to identify the baby's sex. Ashley, it's girl. Though a bit wobbly, instincts take over and the little girl takes her first tiny steps in search of milk. After a few attempts to figure it out, she latches onto mother and begins to nurse, completing the second of two major milestones in her first day of life. Just over the fence, the giraffe females and their calves seem anxious to meet the new little girl. But for now, they'll have to wait. Dusk is quickly approaching, and Lady's calf has too little fat on her day-old body to protect her from the cold. So Kim and Sherry will try to coax Lady and her calf inside the barn for the night. And then tomorrow she'll get to go out and meet all the rest of the giraffes and play with the other two baby giraffes. So that'll be really exciting for her. And the herd, I'm sure, is going to be really happy and excited to meet her. They're all, you know, at the fence line tonight waiting to meet the baby and pretty excited about it. Well, despite a long labor and much trauma and uncertainty, a little giraffe has entered the world. But our story is just beginning. <laughs>